bienvenida al doctor Joseph M. Campos. Él es el secretario de la American Society for Microbiology, es director del laboratorio de microbiología, el laboratorio de diagnóstico molecular e informática. Y esto en el Children's National Medical Center en Washington. Bienvenido, doctor Campos. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I will not uh, attempt to do give my remarks in Spanish. It would take much too long and would be very incorrect, I'm sure, grammatically. Uh, but it, I just want to uh, let you know it is a great pleasure for me to be representing the National American Society for Microbiology organization here at this wonderful meeting in, uh, in Puerto Rico. As I look through the program, this is the, uh, the cover of the program uh, in, my, in preparation for my trip, I was uh, extremely impressed. I, I have attended uh, many branch meetings around the United States on the uh, main continent. And the program here would rank among the very best of the programs that I have seen uh, for branch meetings. Thank and you. My compliments to the organizers and the membership of the Puerto Rico branch to, for making this possible. So when I arrived yesterday, I was uh, very pleased uh, to see uh, one of the, uh, the uh, high-ranking members of a student chapter here in Puerto Rico unfurling this, this banner. He didn't know who I was, <laughs> but I decided to take this photograph as a, an example of the enthusiasm that we have here in Puerto Rico for student branches, uh, and it's an example that, that we hope to, to copy uh, with other branches, uh, other student branches in the United States. What is happening here in Puerto Rico is, uh, is a miracle. We need young microbiologists in this profession. And there is, uh, uh, I think there has been a trend for young students, excellent students, to choose other careers that, are, that may have some relationship to microbiology, but aren't considered uh, the microbiology profession. And what is happening here in Puerto Rico is what I hope will happen throughout the rest of the, of the society. I just wanted to, I have two more slides, this one and another one, just to talk about how important the branches are to the National Society. <laughs> the, the branches have a very long history of serving microbiology and microbiologists at the local level. Uh, their purpose is to provide members with a wide range of scientific programs, networking events, and the opportunity to serve in leadership roles. I got my start as an ASM leader at the branch in southeastern Pennsylvania when I was a graduate student. I was a postdoctoral fellow in Philadelphia and joined that branch and eventually became one of the leaders of that branch as a graduate student and then in my first position at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Uh, the opportunities that were afforded to me, I could not have had in any other uh, manner other than being a member of that branch. So that second point is really is indicative of how I got my start with ASM. Currently there are 35 branches. Uh, that are organized by geographical territories that are defined by one or more states in the United States or zip code areas, or in the case of Puerto Rico, islands. Uh, they are individually chartered. They're not, they're not uh, uh, commanded by the national ASM. They have individual charters. They elect their own officers. They set their own dues, and they determine their own membership criteria, which is how it should be. Members are not required to join the national ASM, although we certainly encourage them to do so, because the national ASM 
has uh, many excellent programs and activities that all microbiologists, we feel, should be interested in. And just incidentally, I, if you're not familiar with our new dues structure that we introduced in, in January of 2013, there are now memberships available for as little as $20 per year uh, for, for students and for the basic membership in the society. So I would encourage you to take a look at that opportunity. If you're not already a member of the National ASM, because that $20 per year membership gives you access to most of the programs and activities of the National ASM. The uh, president, the president-elect, the branch council representative, and the branch alternate counselors must be members of the National ASM. And the reason for that is because the, uh, those officers of the branches represent the branch at meetings that are conducted by the National Society. And so for them to have a vote at these meetings, we do require that they are members of the National Society. But the other members of the branch, uh, it is optional to be a member of the National Society. And just a word about the uh, student branches. And I've decided to uh, uh, read you a few excerpts from a letter that was sent just last week by Wade Bell, who is the chair of the ASM Student Membership Committee, which is part of the membership branch of the American Society for Microbiology. And in his letter to the, to the Puerto Rican branch, he stated that this is to certify that the Puerto Rico Society of Microbiologists has chartered 12 student chapters since 1971. Very impressive. Currently, 10 of the chapters are active and the branch is working to reactivate the remaining two. Out of the 35 ASM branches, the Puerto Rico branch is one of only two branches with 12 chartered student chapters. No branch has more than 12 chartered chapters, and the Puerto Rico branch is the only branch with as many as 10 active chapters. That is something for all of you to be very proud of. He finished by saying, I congratulate the branch for its noteworthy success in promoting student involvement in the chapter and branch programs. And as I said a few moments ago, the example that is being set by the branch here in Puerto Rico and the student branches that are affiliated with that branch, that example is what we want to copy, we want to imitate in all 35 branches the other 34 branches uh, in the United States. Congratulations, and I bring you greetings from my fellow officers and all of the staff leaders at the American Society for Microbiology headquarters in Washington, D.C. Thank you. Thank you.